What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com, the best place online to buy your John Deere parts. Now, let's jump right on in and show you how to test the battery on your mowers with your multimeter. Now, there are going to be a couple of different sections here on your multimeter, depending on which one you have, where we can go to test that battery. Now, here on the one that I have down here in this bottom right hand corner, I have a section that is specifically for 12 volt, 9 volt or 1.5 volt batteries. So very simply on this multimeter to check those 12 volt batteries that are on our lawnmowers, I can switch it over here to 12 volt and test it directly from here. Now if I do not have this setting here, what I'm looking for is this right here this v with the solid line on top and the dots below it now this is going to be for your dc current or your direct current and whenever we are looking to test batteries where we want to have that set is going to be at this 20 because you want it to be able to test up to 20 volts whereas we're going to be looking for around that 12 mark so what i'm going to do is i'm going to test both of these batteries here using both settings just so you can see how they both work all right so to start out here i've got my battery over here and my multimeter i'm going to start by switching this over to my 12 volt battery right here so right down there we've got it on 12 volt and we can see that we have a reading of triple zero there so first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take my lead over to my negative cable and then one to my positive and then we should get a reading that's about right 12 and a half volts there so one thing that i want to point out is if you do get these switched up if for some reason we go positive to negative negative to positive you're still going to get that reading, but you will see that minus sign. So just know that if you get a minus sign, you do have them switched. So go ahead and flip those around and retest that. Now that showed correctly on the 12 volts. Now we're going to move over here to the DC current. Put that up to 20, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and test it again. So right there, 12.6, right on track. Either way, whether we were here or at the 12 volt, this worked either way, getting that reading. Now we'll go to a little older battery right over here just to make sure we get the same thing. All right, so much older, dirty, nastier battery here. We're gonna go ahead and flip this down to our 12 volt battery. Let that zero out. We'll go to the negative terminal and then to the positive getting that reading of 12.5. So we're good there. Let's go ahead and go over to our direct current, 20, go negative to positive, 12.6. So very simple concept, very easy to do. Now I know a lot of the times we're going to have battery chargers and things like that that'll actually tell us the voltage of that battery. But if you do happen to have a multimeter around and want to check those batteries, very, very simple on how to do it. Now, if you do not have one of these in your tool arsenal, I would highly recommend you get one. You can get them fairly cheap, find them at almost all of your local hardware stores, online at Amazon, all those different places. So if you do not have a multimeter to help you troubleshoot these different electrical issues that you may have on your equipment i would highly suggest you get one but guys i hope this video helps you out i hope that you like this video if you did we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you're needing any john deere parts at all for your equipment make sure to go check us out at 247 parts.com and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here